Hello, everybody. Welcome to part 53 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Um, next up, we're going to do Sense Fortress, right? Nope, we actually have one little thing I want to take care of in Dark Guard. So, what we're going to do first is level up. I'm a uh, 5,000 souls short. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just need a soul item. Um, one of these will be enough. Yeah. It's a thousand. Oh, I think I'm gonna be a little short. I am four souls short. Oh, that might actually be the closest <laughs> I've ever been. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't be a Dark Souls episode if I wasn't coming closer and closer, but never quite approaching what I need to level up. So, excellent start as always. But hey, we've already fixed it, so cranking up that intelligence. Like I said, we are going to... Oh, and there's one more thing to do. It is to change my covenant to the forest hunters because we have some hunting to do. And who it is that we want to hunt? Uh, well, we'll just wait till we get there. And I hope I don't mess this up, but we'll see. Probably will. Um, our first stop is going to be in the forest itself. And I may as well burn those bushes with some fire, right? We're gonna be going to the bonfire anyway, so it'll restore our pyromancy. May as well. Yeah, that's one of the main things of why I don't like using like spells in general, is because they are limited ammo, and there's always that like just RPG um, trope of you'll never use stuff that you have a finite amount of, even though like you know. Um, Casts are overall unlimited because you get them back, but um, you know I just feel like oh god I don't want to use my chaos whip because what if I need to use it in five minutes and then just like, you end up beating the whole game having never used your stuff. So use your stuff, guys. May as well, right? Um, get some more blood red moss clump, which like I said is the most useless moss in my opinion. Um, and I remember I said that when we were first here. I never quite explained why. I just sort of gave this hilarious reason of it's not good because I don't use it. <laughs> but the reason I don't use it is because the way bleed works is that the thing builds up, right, like all the other statuses, but then um, once it actually takes effect, um, you just take damage and it's gone. Right? So it's really only useful as it's building up, right? Because with poison, it builds up, then you're poisoned. And then like, okay, makes sense to cure my poison, but um, it's not like that with bleeding. So, and because the buildup just naturally fades away, it's like there's maybe one or two seconds when you don't need to use it. And it's like, you know, technically you could use it if you're bleeding and you're about to get bled, but you know, it's an animation, you have to stop and eat it, and that takes a few seconds, and you're probably gonna die in those few seconds. So anyway, like I said, who are we gonna hunt? Well, it is these guys right here. Um, yes, I have to think very carefully here because I don't know if all the other guys are going to attack me. It'll make things a little more complicated if so, but either way, I think what we can do to make things a little more for us, I know we can kick and then they don't get as angry. So I think we can try kicking this guy off first. <laughs> yeah, he knows, you know that's coming. So yeah, this is Sparta. And now they're angry. Okay, yeah, that everyone's angry now. I just, I guess let's just try to kill Shiva at least, because he will not respond if we can get him. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, no worries though. These guys are just chumps. Um, so yes, the reason we killed them will be clear in a second here. Let me just finish these guys off first. No oh way. Ah, wow. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. And I don't know why he's healing, because I don't think I've even done any damage to him yet. Okay, that was kind of greedy. But we got him. Sometimes you gotta be greedy, guys. When you're in game and you have all the vitality you need, you can be a little greedy. Okay, now let's just get a nice combo in here. And, oh yeah, this ain't Dark Souls 3, you don't get a riposte when we break the guard. 
So anyway, we killed them because uh, Shiva drops some stuff, drops some humanity. He also drops his shield and Murakumo, it's called. It's basically like a giant great sword katana. Really cool. But what we're really interested in is the guy we kicked off. So obviously, you know, you can't go down there, but just like with Latrek, all we gotta do is quit and reload. And he's got a very cool item. And what it is, it is a ring. Uh -huh. I'll get a humanity and the dark wood green ring. So this ring is really cool. Um, I'm gonna put it on. And at first, nothing happens, right? But if I take off enough so that I'm light rolling, you'll do a flip. The flippy ring, yes, it's so cool. Uh, and I might think this is completely pointless, but there's actually some pretty good utility in that it improves the actual like window you have of iframes so that you don't take damage. Um, so very helpful on light builds, but um, yeah, we're probably not going to get to use it most of the time, but um, I did want to use it in the next area. Um, I wanted to go for of a lighter, like a weight kind of build. So, and we'll meet you guys back at Sense Fortress with the new build. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> That's right, we are going full Robin Hood. This is something I've wanted to try since the beginning of this series, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna see how well it goes, especially in Sense Fortress. This probably would have been much better to do in the depths, but what can you do? Um, yeah, basically just gonna use the comp bow. Um, you know what, I'm gonna make one more modification. Uh, Chaos Whip is cool, but Great Chaos Fireball is much better. Um, so yeah, I got the Notched Whip in the back pocket. Um, I only had enough uh, Titanite to get up to plus seven, so I doubt it's gonna come in that handy, but just in case. Um, but yeah, I also am using the Hawk Ring and the ring we just got. So we'll see how well this goes. <laughs> um, could be a bit of a mess. Uh, yeah, let's see. I'm already gonna fumble. I'm not used to using arrows, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, Hawk ring, by the way, just extends the range of our arrows. Uh, nothing too special, but it should help, right? Uh, let's see how this goes. Next out, comp bow in medium. Oh my god! All right? No, no, not that way. Not that way. Okay, <laughs> off to a bad start already. This is going to be one of the hardest parts I know already. Oh boy, two damage. Okay, 89, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, by the way, these guys have double health. Okay, uh, here we are. Steadily chipping away. Okay, um... <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know if they blocked that or if it's actually... It actually only does 22. <laughs> okay, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. Is, oh, okay, wait. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, this, uh, this might not work out, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was worth trying, but not gonna lie, I don't think we have the stats for this. <laughs> it's just because the whole point of this combo, I just realized, is um, scales with your strength and dexterity, which I mean, we have some, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this was doomed from the start, and now I am bacon. Got what I deserve. So we're, we're gonna stick with what uh, what we do best, guys. And so I'm gonna change it back, and let's do this properly. <laughs> yeah, um, I really gotta plan things out better because it's like I had this idea, right? To oh, use a combo. It'll be so fun. It'll be so cool. And I gotta be a human again because I do want to try to put down my summon sign. Hopefully, get summoned. Um, but then it's always, I always forget until any moment and I make a fool of myself that, oh, that's right, bows are for dex builds, which we are not. We are a notorious build, an artorious build, yes, that's right, specifically when you just upgrade all your stats the way we are, like a little bit of strength, a little bit of dexterity, a little bit of intelligence and faith, it's basically just for using this weapon, <laughs> so it's got its own... It's one of the few weapons out there that has an entire build based around it. 
but uh, just keep in mind that 22 damage you saw from the notched whip. That wasn't from hitting their shield, that was a direct hit on them. And let's just compare it to our actual sword here. Oh. Oh yeah, see, that gets staggered. It's gonna be much more doable. Yeah, that's that's how you play Dark Souls. You actually plan your build, then you stick to it. That's the key. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and put our summon sign down right here, right at the entrance, and then we'll get the soul brave warrior. Well. Very nice, very nice. Um, and yeah, let's make our way through the fortress again. Um, just like with Blight Town, I don't think I'm gonna grab everything because uh, it's really just not necessary. I wonder if I want to fight these guys right now, though. And I think I do. I think I do. Uh, I'm gonna put on our just an iron ring, of course, which looks a lot like the green ring. So be careful not to accidentally put the wrong one. Are you serious? My summon sign. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's okay, it's okay. We got we got some humanity to spare. Yeah, I just got all it takes is one little distraction. One little distraction. I didn't realize that down there doesn't count as like a separate area and that our summon sign disappears, so very interesting. Um I'm gonna go let's just go kill them while I'm not human because obviously like Probably gonna die again, let's be real. <laughs> um, but hopefully I can do a better job this time. But yeah, like I was saying, all it takes is one little momentary distraction and then you are screwed. Um, just, you know, that one little moment of shock of seeing my summon sent disappear and I was distracted and did not dodge. So this time though, we're gonna get him. Okay, heal. No, he's chasing me. <laughs> oh god, they're both down here. Oh boy, why did I rush? Why did I rush? Oh, okay, so now we survived. No! Okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine guys, it's okay. It's okay. So, <laughs> Dark Souls is a game about learning. We've learned that running past the snake men. <laughs> It's not a good idea because they are going to chase you down there. So let's, let's take our time. Let's kill them this time. It's kind of hilarious though, just seeing them splat next to me <laughs> like that. Because I've, I've seen them jump off. I didn't really, I've never like seen, been down there though as they jump off. I didn't realize that they just completely face plant like that. Alright, so let's uh, be patient this time. Oh, are we going to get. Oh, nice. We actually killed them with the trap. So, which you don't see too often. So, I'm very happy about that. And, okay, three hits to kill. Um, don't think that a backstab or parry will kill him, but it's fine. Let's just get this ready. This will be in handy. Um, in fact, I wonder if we can do something like this. Oh, nope. <laughs> it just explodes in the air. Alright. Let's just do this then. I'm learning your ways, buddy. Ow. Ooh. Let's get our souls. Okay. Nice. Nope. Take this. Okay, there we go. Two hand weapon there. Get a heal. Always heal, guys. Always heal. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, I don't need the Demon Titan. <laughs> but it's all about the entertainment value, right? I think we've gotten plenty of that so far. Okay, nearly got him. But still gonna heal. Still gonna heal. Never get greedy. Never think, oh, I'll just kill him. I don't need to heal. That's how you always die. It's never worth it. Always heal, guys. And we got him anyway. See, we get him anyway. That's why we did. I still got Demon Titan. In fact, don't I have the, um, 
the catch pole? I think I do, so there's like literally no reason to fight these guys at this point. Yeah. So you know what? Um, I know there's a whole bunch more in that direction, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the executive decision and <laughs> say not today. Uh, let's just take out the guy who raised the gate for us, and we will head back and kindle. Um, I don't see I might even call it an episode at that point <laughs> because got a little off track. It's been a bit of a scattered episode. Been all over the place. And, you know, Sense Fortress, it's a big level. It's, it's one of my favorite levels, in fact. Um, and I think it deserves its own episode. Uh, we'll just sort of call this the Poking In episode. <laughs> we got the Woodgrain Ring. We tried a few things. This is the sort of half comedy episode. could probably just honestly fast forward and just play Yakety Sex over the whole thing. <laughs> That's what I deserve at this point. Um, so yeah, let's just take this guy out. Hopefully he's not too much harder in medium plus. Don't think he will be. Nice thing is everyone's moveset stays the same. It's just their damage and their health goes up. That's all. Which is mostly manageable. It would be really cool though if um, there was new game plus stuff that uh, had like changes to the way they enemies or bosses worked, but that'd be quite a bit of work. And not many players would actually get to experience it. Still get a chunk, which is nice. But uh, yeah, let's just sort of just take in the scenery. You know, we'll call it an episode, right? Get to look out on Lodrin, see the parish. Yeah, because this is a good view, and I want to show it to you guys in the nice Ultra HD setup that we got now. <laughs> um, there's Anne Orlando and the rest of Sun's Fortress. Yeah. If we can see the Hand Golem. I don't think we can. Yeah, no, he's not up there. Um, but yeah, now this is, turn this is turning into From the Dark now, so as we know, this ain't that. This is just Let's Play Dark Souls <laughs> for my Kelly. Um, but yeah, I am going to call it at that point, guys. Um, I hope you had fun watching. I had fun making it, as always. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to stick to this build now. Uh, we, we spent this whole series getting set up for this Great Sword of Victorious build. Let's use it. Let's not, let's not mess around. We're not Robin Hood. We got, there's, no, there's no rich to steal from the poor. There's plenty of poor people in this game, but there's not really many rich people. So, <laughs> on that note, let's call it an episode, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.